Uh, it's, a, it's a tremendous honor to be tasked with leading Garden State Equality, one of New Jersey's great advocacy organizations. I've had the honor and privilege of working as an advocate and organizer for and with the LGBT community over the last decade. And I am humbled to be surrounded today by some of the greatest LGBT advocates New Jersey has ever known as we create this new chapter in the existence of Garden State Equality. I'm a proud New Jersey native, so I'm especially excited to be back and serve my home state of New Jersey. I grew up in the Belmar area and spent much of my time in Asbury Park, witnessing firsthand the Renaissance taking place there. I was surrounded by a loving and extremely encouraging community, which influenced me to become an activist. I was surrounded by uh, uh, Kevin Jennings, who led GLSEN, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network, and continued by founding my own organization, the Pride Network, which focused on leadership development for young people in our community. Shortly after, I was brought on by former Empire State Pride Agenda leader, Alan Van Capel, to lead national social justice campaigns at Ben the Ark, a Jewish partnership for justice, and recently finished my time with him at Educational Alliance on the Lower East Side, helping lower income communities realize their American dream. I have learned lessons from mentors, Guido Sanchez, Alan Van Capel, Kevin Jennings, Julian Bond, and Malcolm Lazen. And I have the foundation of success to build upon by past leaders of this organization, Stephen Goldstein and Andy Bowen, with the volunteer trustees and thousands of donors that give voice and power to LGBT people in the Garden State. This organization has been at the forefront of LGBT issues for over a decade and should be proud of its numerous accomplishments. Marriage equality would not have happened without Garden State Equality and the support of the people in this room. Now, everywhere in this country, people are wondering what a marriage equality organization looks like in a post-marriage uh, post equality state. Well, they are about to find out right here in New Jersey. As my friend Alan Van Capel says, equality is the basement and justice is the ceiling. The path ahead for Garden State equality lies not with our past accomplishments, it lies with the relationships we can develop and the communities we can bring together to advocate for change. Discrimination against any one member of the LGBT community is discrimination against all members of the LGBT community. To further that, this discrimination in any form is against the national community. Starting today, under my leadership, Garden State Equality is moving forward in a manner that will ensure all voices are heard. You will see an organization that is representative of the community we serve, as well as the richly diverse state we live in. We will forge coalitions and partnerships with all those who have encountered discrimination in any form. But let me be clear, everyone is encouraged to participate in this fight. This is not about blue values or red values. These are American values. It's about working for and with each other. Together, we will create an atmosphere of acceptance and understanding that benefits everyone, regardless of race, age, religion, gender, or sexual orientation. This vision that I bring with me to Garden State Equality, and I, and I plan on implementing it as soon as possible with the people in this room. We have no time to waste. Let no one be under the impression that the struggle for true equality has ended. Let us not forget, just because a law is passed, it doesn't mean that everyone is treated equally. We also know that just because a law exists, it's not always enforced. While we have marriage equality on a national level, we are far from free people in states across this country. We currently find ourselves engaged in a number of issues, ranging from anti-bullying education efforts to protection of LGBT seniors, to clearing the hurdles that plague the transgender individuals. The struggles of the LGBT community continue every day, be it recognition under the law or acceptance in their community. Those struggles were evident recently in Bergen County with a very public debate on whether or not the Paxac Valley School District should implement policies recognizing and protecting transgender youth. 
We applaud the actions of the school board for implementing policies that allow students to use restrooms and locker rooms based on their gender identity. But we also note that few communities have done what this school board has done. We also see from comments made during this debate that there is still a tremendous amount of public education needed on this issue. And we cannot disregard that this particular school district is represented in Congress by someone who refuses to support gay candidates for office, even if they are members of his political party. These types of issues are not unique to New Jersey. In North Carolina, we're seeing this intolerance receive the official endorsement of the state's legislature and governor through their horrid anti-LGBT actions last month. Intolerance through this country still exists. The divisive nature of this presidential election has made that loud and clear. This intolerance spewed through the comments and actions of certain presidential candidates has cultivated an atmosphere where hatred is accepted and even encouraged. This creates devastating ripple effects for all groups subject to ridicule, whether they are brothers and sisters in the LGBT, Muslim, or Mexican communities. Remember, equality is not necessarily justice, not even here in New Jersey. But in the face of injustice, we are seeing hope. We see hope in our businesses coming together to say they will not tolerate discrimination. We see hope in New Jersey's own Bruce Springsteen, standing up and saying he won't perform in a state that embraces rather than rejects discrimination. This hope, this action to protect transgender individuals is what can happen when our brothers and sisters join us in the fight for justice and equality. In the coming months, Garden State Equality will lay out an aggressive mission on how LGBT people and our allies can participate in a broader social justice movement making New Jersey one of the most progressive states in the union. We have a dynamic and vibrant LGBT community, and we are going to ensure that every person in the state has the chance to lead their fullest lives, regardless of who they love or their gender. And make no mistake, New Jersey and the nation will be hearing from us. We will not be silent, we will not be complacent, and we will not sit back and watch years of progress fall victim to the dangerous rantings of a reality TV show star and an out of touch congressman. Only by working together will we achieve true equality and justice, not just for LGBT people, but also for all those who have their rights denied. I am truly honored to be here today and cannot wait to get started. I look forward to leading Garden State Equality and working with all of you, along with Senate President Sweeney and Speaker Prieto, to ensure New Jersey is a place free of discrimination and bias. Thank you.